Hello and welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Alphabet. It is letter D, episode four. You might hear in the sky that a big bear has just passed us by and that is because we're at London Stansted Airport heading to a different city in a different country. This airport has a special place in my heart. That that might be slightly dramatic. <laughs> a special place in my heart. It doesn't have a special place in my heart, but I do like coming to this one because it is the airport we flew from um, on episode one. So where it all began. It's very easy to get here. It is currently 7 a.m. Um, it's a three hour drive. So I set off um I set off at like half half three, four a.m. Um but it's a really easy drive to get here and I like the parking here because you literally come in this blue zone. It's called the blue zone at Stansted Airport. Park here. Uh, I've parked here both times. I literally drive in the barrier lifts. I walk down to the airport and then that is it. Nothing to worry about. I don't like them airports where you have to like jump on a minibus and drive 10 minutes up the road. So anyway, I'm, wa I'm waffling. I'm waffling. That's not like me. Let's get inside. Have a guess where we're going and I'll see you at the board. I mean, I know I said I'll see you at the board, but I thought to myself, when I got out, I thought, I've got a bit of energy to bend. So I thought, why would I just walk normally to the board to just show you straight away where I am when I could do this? Booyah! And if you look close enough, we are going to... One thing that makes me laugh about the airport security is when they, they need to search you, but there she's got to stand in front of that board thing and they say, copy that man on there, and you've got to stand there like that. Makes me want to do that thing where you go, where people can dance and go. So Dortmund, Germany is where we head to next. It's in Western Germany and has a population of around 500,000. So it's not the biggest city. We've been to bigger, put it that way. It's well known for its football team, Borussia Dortmund. It's well known for art. It's well known for its beer culture and jam, giant German beers. And it also said that it's renowned for flea markets which made me itch. So if I come back scratching, covered in red marks, you know why. But I am looking forward to getting there and I'm excited for my bacon roll and my coke at eight in the morning. Another thing quickly about security. One sec, I don't know if my food's coming. This is so awkward. This is so awkward. I am not filming myself. I am not filming myself. Oh, thank you. Cheers for that. Thank, thank you. I'm not filming myself. Hi, mate. Thank you. No not filming myself. <laughs> a bacon roll with that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm real high up, you know. The, all the airport is like lower down. I've come up some stairs and sat in a bar to be away from it, everyone. And I've been caught red handed. But yeah, insecurity. The woman, one of the women there, watched our. Um, watches our TikToks and she said to me like she came over and said like oh watch your videos they're really good blah 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 and I'd taken my coats off and put them all in them containers that go through security and um, when I was just about to go through the scanner thing and the bit where you do that um, she said right take your shoes off get your shoes off then but she said it like in a funny way so I thought she was joking so I said to her Oh, you just want you just want to see the notorious invisible socks, don't you? <laughs> and she was being deadly serious. She went, "Oh no, no, no! You need, no, you need to set them off. They're above ankle." I thought, "Oh, right." So I had to whip my shoes off. I've never took my shoes off while going through one of them. Good job, my feet don't stink, innit? We're about to board our flight to Dortmund, Gate Fifty Seven. So next time you see me, I'll have probably landed 
exploring the alphabet, going airborne. Just got off the flight and everyone, loads of people was just there waiting to get up. It's that. I said I'd been asleep for the full flight. And if you've watched the series on Netflix called Manifest, when when the flight comes up, there's loads of people waiting for the flight because it's been missing for five years. So when I, I woke up, so I rolled and outside of us. You know what's happened? The kids will be grown up, Carrie will have moved on. <laughs> Yes, I'm in a toilet again, but since traveling, there's one thing that I've realized, and it's that people stick stickers on the back of toilet doors. So from now on, every episode, we're gonna do a shout out of the app. So let's head over to the door and see who this week's shout out is for. Boo Boyd's Mini and West Ham. Anyway, I should say, welcome to Dortmund because we have arrived and we've got a fun time ahead of us. Do you know when I first booked this and I realised the flight was only an hour, I thought, why don't you hear of many people from England coming to Germany? And then I realised when I, when I touched ground, because I got off here and it was Baltic. Minus three it is. And I checked the weather, it says minus three. Minus three and feels like minus seven. You're, you're right there. I nearly swore that, but I am making it um, a, a new thing where I try not to swear because when I'm editing and I have to put all them beeps in, it drives me nuts. Well, it started. <laughs> so if you see in the distance there, there's a little queue and um, it said this sign here, bus three euro, and then a big long word that we can't pronounce. So I was stood in that line thinking, this must be the queue to, to the to Dortmund for the bus. So I thought, oh, for once I've not planned anything, it's going swimmingly. And then I'm stood in the queue and I start getting a bit anxious. So I say to someone behind me, you waiting for bus? And it, apparently that the bus thingy that I was in, it doesn't take you to Dortmund, it just takes you to the parking spot of the cars. So they're just going back to the car after flying here. I said to him, do you have any idea how I get to Dortmund? They just looked at me blank. I don't think that's their responsibility, is it? I'm surprised they even got in though, because the man, say, I don't know where I'm walking here. I'm probably gonna get arrested. There's some steps here. I'm planning on going up these. Don't, don't have a clue where it takes me, but I'm just finishing this video. Yeah, but the man at security, where he looks at your passport, you, you get the blue. No, that's one of his voices. You good place to stay? No, I don't even know, even know if that was it. But anyway, he said, you got a place to stay? I said, yeah, of course I've got a place to stay. I'm not sleeping sleeping rough. He, and then, then he goes, uh, you uh, you got money? Money? I said, of course I've got money. What are you trying to say? I'm not skint. And then I, I, I thought I had uh, some notes in my pocket, so I dug into my pocket. And then when I lifted it up in my hand, I had about two English pounds and a 20 pence coin. <laughs> Wasn't looking that good. I did explain to him I have got a card that's got not much on it either. <laughs> so this is definitely a proper bus stop and it's got loads of people on it. So I'm, I'm assuming they're going to Dortmund. So I'm going to jump on this with them or try. Um, problem is I don't have any euros and so I'm hoping the bus takes card. That's why I'm lingering at the back because I want everyone to go on first because if I don't have the money to get on and I get sent away, I don't want anyone to witness that. No, 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 no. I know you was probably hoping that I um, didn't make didn't make the bus and I was rejected, but I came for a walk to see if there was a bank machine so I could get some money out. And um, so that didn't happen. And I came across a ticket dispenser. So I bought a ticket, but only thing is, don't know, I couldn't understand the German on the screen. So I just chose the cheapest one. And now there's a bus pulling up. Oh, oh. Oh, don't miss it. Everybody who was waiting at the bus stops getting on a bus to Holswick Eid, whereas I bought my ticket to Halpert Batonhof. But what what the hell's... But, my, but where I, I, I... I did just Google it, and the one that I've bought... Um, takes you to the Central Station in um, 
Dortmund. So where are all these nuts going? You've got, I think you've got the wrong ticket, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think they've got the wrong ticket. <laughs> that I the bus that I got on um, ended before it was anywhere near Dortmund um, so when everyone got off they all walked into this train and I'm thinking if you come to if you come to Dortmund airport surely it's to come to Dortmund so when they've all jumped off and come to this train station I followed them because I'm just gonna hop this train I wish she'd shut up I'm just gonna hop this train and hope it goes in the direction of Dortmund but this trip we are staying in a hotel for the first time it's been airbnbs every other time this time we are staying in a hotel and oh you wait till i show you it is so swanky it is so swanky Ooh, you're hard showing off somehow made it into Dortmund Centre. I have no idea how I managed to how I managed to get here. That was the biggest fluke ever. I was just following people around. I've had about eight buses and about 14 trains. But um but yeah we're here. Do you know what? I don't know if I was meant to like be paying for any of that but I paid for the bus, the first bus and I got on a different one. But then I was sat on that train and no one came around and asked me for for anything. So I was I was laughing there. Free free transport in Dortmund, Dortmund, you heard it here first. But yeah, I can see the outdoors now, so we're gonna make our way outdoors. Luckily this place isn't far from the hotel. So first of all we're gonna go check in there. And um you're gonna be you're gonna be shocked how luxury this place is. I'm so excited for a night. It, it's such a treat. We're four episodes in, and we're staying in royalty. I got to this street corner, and all these started pulling up, and I thought to myself, "What the hell? I'm getting nicked. What have I done?" But luckily, they're all. Oh no, they are beeping at me. I'm sorry. I didn't bring me. I didn't mean to be, bring me e cig into the country. Hello. He just, I don't know if he swore or did a piece of or something, but he's hes wicked. That's the first engagement. Hi, new friend. <laughs> well, here we go. It's like a convoy for, there's four bikes in there. I don't know if they're imposters. Oh. It's just loads of, loads of big wagons. Let's get the life out of me. No, I think it's some big wagon. I don't know if they're just like working vehicles that are passing through. Or if it's like a wagon show and I've just stumbled across it by chance. Shall we, shall we, I don't know, let's see if we can get one of them to blow their own again. Yeah, let's see. Where's my friend here? Is he on the other side? Here he is. Hey, excuse me. Well, he, he wouldn't do it. There he is. It's a bit <laughs> that one, wasn't it? That's a bit rubbish. I, hope it, I was hoping for a better wagon pull than that. Here we go. This this guy's got a bigger. Let's see if this one can go. No, see, that's what I want. I want a big one close up. Here he is. There, that was all right. It was better than the last one. What we got here? What we got on this one? One sec. Just, uh, excuse me, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that one, that one, that one bad. That one bad. They're getting better. Come on. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Whoa! Here it comes. This this could be the big one. This could be the big one. God knows what's going on. Oh, <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, no more, please. My heart nearly fell out my bum. <laughs> Would you please have quiet in the studio? Fucking shut up! Hi, I've got a reservation for Redhead. 
for the, I don't know if it's a penthouse. Royal. Yeah. For Where pen, are you from? England. England. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is it for the penthouse suite? The series. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, on Booking.com, the rooms didn't look like incredible. Like I was pulling your leg, but I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> it's a good job I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in here. Well, I'm spending a lot less time than I even anticipated. So I might not even sleep in here. But let's head out anyway. Or should I say, let's head out. So I've just been down to the reception because I forgot to ask for the Wi-Fi password. And before I got a chance to ask for it, I walked up and the lady said, uh, is there a problem? So I'm guessing that as soon as they check guessing a lot of ta the time there is problems and I can see why, you know, I can see why. Anyway, um, I said to her, Oh, no, there's no problem. I said, I just wondered if you could release me for bail for a couple of hours. Only a couple of hours, consider do you know, considering the place looks like a like a prison cell. I didn't know if I had to ask. <sighs> Let's go. Ow, my son. Because we've only got a couple of hours before the sun goes... Well, I was nearly said before the sun goes down, but it doesn't look like the sun comes to Germany. But before, because we've only got a couple of hours before it gets dicky dark, um, we're going to cram in a few of the attractions that are around our hotel. Because all the fun and exciting stuff is a bit further away. So they're going to be far tomorrow, but there is some really exciting stuff. Germany. When I was researching Dortmund, as I do, number two that you must do on TripAdvisor was a park called Western Fallen Park or something along those lines. Now, I've looked at pictures, it just looks like a normal park. But because that's close by, we're going to make that our first one. So once we've got across this beautiful bridge, we'll arrive at West Fallen Park and... Uh, Take a little look around the greenery there, but this thing here is called the Florian Tower, which apparently you can get to the top of and have beautiful 360 views. I best go now, because I'm on the freeway. It's a shame there's no truckers there, so I could give it the old air uh, toot toot. never been into a park where you have one oh gone the wrong way <laughs> where you have a big, big how is that the how do you get in is it i don't know if you get in that way do you i've got bernard over here looking at me he looks like he's gonna kick off do you excuse me do you get into the park this way yeah just down here yeah. perfect I was trying to get in that, that one, <laughs> the way out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the park's round here. Apparently the entrance is round here. So it must be a one-way system, which I like a bit of a uh, nice and organized. I'll tell you why it's a one-way system, because you've got to pay to get in and they don't take cards. So whenever I, whenever I bring cash, they don't take cash. And whenever I bring cards, they don't take cards. You can't win. All of a sudden, I don't like organisation as much. 
I'm having to walk 10 minutes back that way, where I've just come from, to get to a bank, so I can get in a park. Right, I'm on my way back, I've got my cash, and when I get there, mark my words, I'll be giving her a piece of my mind. Hi there, lovely. Got the cash now. Yeah, okay, one ticket, yeah? yeah just the one admission. Okay, thank, thank you, you. that's you. great. Thank you for that. Oh, very kind of you. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers. All the best. Bye-bye. <laughs> I mean, told you I'd give her a piece of my mind. <laughs> I sure dare. Buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours. You said you don't understand. And here we have a random cube that is wrapped in cling film for no apparent reason. My aim is every single day to just make one person smile, but it's never been this easy. Look at that sad get. <laughs> oh, 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 this one's carry look. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You know the most embarrassing part? I've just queued in a line behind, um, that, well, not queued, but there was there was a little child on it with his mum and dad. I stood behind and waiting to have my turn. <laughs> I didn't even spot you. Hiya, mate. Do you speak English? After all of that, I, w well, Nearly said I've worked up an appetite. I think it's normal to work up an ap appetite when you haven't ate um, since eight o'clock in the morning, especially when it's past 4 p.m. now. So before I get a headache, I'm gonna go into this little cafe or restaurant in the back, have some food before I go up the Florian Tower. I will moan if the Florian Tower isn't in with my ticket price. Definitely, what you're looking at. I've spotted something called Curry West. Curry West. And I've seen that online quite a lot. So I'm gonna, thank you. So I'm going to give the Curry West a try because there's two things that I wanna try in terms of food while I'm in Germany and it's Curry West and then one of them giant hot dogs. I don't know if it's called like a Schnitzel West or something like that. This is the Curry West. It won't what I was expecting, but. Problem is, I've just been leaning over there so I could prop my phone up and stand my stand over there. Realised. I've just lent in all the curry worst, so now my new de denim jacket's ruined. Plus, it's just like a, a sausage. It's a sausage with curry on and a bit of curry spice or something. So it's like when you go to Chippy and you get sausage and curry, I guess. Let's give it a go. I mean, it's not, it's not great. The curry, the curry sauce is nice, but the, the sausage tastes a bit cheap. And the other thing that's putting me off, the size of it. The size of it. It's reminding me of something else. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. The curry sauce tastes like real tomato, though it's not like curry curry. Actually, every bite that I have, I dislike it more. But I can't. I, I feel I am paid yet, so I can't just rush out while no one's looking. And it's rude, isn't it? If you pay your bill and you've not touched it. So now I'm, I've got anxiety because I have to eat this. 
I, I suppose I need it for the energy. I just left the restaurant and I've I panicked. I couldn't I couldn't eat it. I couldn't eat it no matter how much I tried. So I'm I'm trying to get out of sight of people so no one spots what I've done. But I don't want to keep my giant sausage in my pocket for too much longer. Oh, there's a bin up here as well. Perfect. There's no one around. Right. Dig deep into my mum coat. And I've wrapped up my sausage. Look, it's in here. It's in here. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Look. I'll get it out for you. I'll get my sausage out for you. Thankfully, I'm near a bin. So, looks like I got away with that one. But I don't think uh, curry wursts are for me, so we'll stay away from them giant um, hot dog things. This park comes alive at the night time. Look at that. It looks amazing, so maybe I should have come a tiny bit later. But we don't have time to go around all over again. You've seen it all. And next, we're going up that bad boy. Even that comes alive at night. Look, it's ch it changes colour. You watch. what It won't change colour now. I've got the camera on it. I promise you it changes colour. To go to the Florian Tower, I assume you're just getting this lift. I paid three, three euro fifty. I don't have a clue what the buttons don't work. Oh, someone's coming in. Hello. Hello. It was the lady who was working. tower but we're at the top now and you want to see the views that you get off the top of this tower all the stuff from the bottom of my list has been completed today which means tomorrow when we wake up we tackle the top of my list i never want to dance again and to be forgotten or rhythm i'm never gonna dance again gonna make me feel ooh, 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 ooh. i've not seen one corner shop in Dortmund, all the walking around I've done, I've not seen one corner shop. And before I go to my room, I want to get some sneaky snacky snooze. So when I'm laid down booking tickets for certain places, I um, can feed myself as well. So I'll see you back in the room. If I find a corner shop, I'll show you what I get. By the way, with the room being a prison, you might have to um, ring the reception first before I see you in there. You know, check its visiting hours and all that. Oh. Right, everyone. Bad news is I'm back in Alcatraz. Good news is I've had me corner shop. So I tried to pick items that you can't get in the UK anymore. First of all, ketchup Pringles. And I was moaning earlier about my curry tasting the ketchup, but I do actually like ketchup. They are banging. They are amazing. Now, my drink for tonight, an exotic Fanta. I don't know if you can. That was gross. <laughs> I don't know if you can get exotic Fantas in England, but I've never had one, so I got one. Then for the morning, a mango and passion fruit Capri Sun. I'm going to have to try this now, though. Yeah, it just tastes like a tropical drink. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. It's alright, though. And then I got a Chocky Bar. I have no idea what this is. It's called a Knoppers Nuss Regal. And it looks a tiny bit like a Snickers, but with a wafer and... Like, so we'll give that a bang as well. So tonight, now it is 8 p.m. I'm gonna sit down on my prison bed. The door will get locked from the outside and I'm gonna book tickets for what we have in store 
tomorrow. So once that's all done, I will be back to obviously say goodnight because um, I'm lonely and need a bit of company or just a bit of like bedtime love. I was all set for bed and then outside I heard a big scream followed by two immediate gunshots. <laughs> now I'm petrified, so I'm 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 gonna sleep with the light on. When I say sleep, I'll probably just stay awake with with fear. All the same, I'll see you in the morning, but only if I make it. Cross everything. See you later. Oh, I've made it. And I somehow, I somehow nodded off in this bed. All I remember was laid under it last night, scratching every inch of my body. Probably because the fleas and stuff that I've got knocking about in these pillows, there's a piss stain on the pillow as well. And the quilt don't fill, fit my full body. So I've had my feet out of the bed for the full night and it is ice cold in this room, there's no heating. So I'm gonna go outside, it's probably gonna be warmer out there. But today, first stop is Dortmund Zoo. We're gonna make our way to the entrance now. So let's go see the animals. We're off to a very good start because if you go to a zoo in England, you're looking at about 30, 40 pound a ticket. In here, nine pound, nine euros. And look what I'm on. I'm on a giant anaconda. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want buns unless you don't want guns unless you got buns, hon. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. We're not scared. And here we have another animal. One that I'm very familiar with because the name of these is actually my nickname back home that Carrie um, gives me mostly on evenings. It's the bull. Hey there, guys. I'm not wearing any red, so you know I don't bring you danger, but it would be nice to have a pat of your head. It lo also looks like you don't give two fly-ins that I'm actually here. So, I'm going to move on, because um, I'm not really feeling the energy. <laughs> hey there! Hey! Hey there! No... I'm not saying hello, I'm saying there's hay there. <laughs> like you're literally eating it, dumbass. I have no idea what to do. An animal has escaped. Hello? Do you, do you need help getting back into your pen? Come on, kid. Let's find you a fella, eh? Excuse me? Do you mind being, being in the vlog? I don't want to disturb it or scare it. The colours on that thing though. I don't think I've ever been up close and personal to one of them um, hawks. <laughs> Watch this nosy get here. Anywhere I go, he follows me. Look at his head. You'll snap your neck in a minute. Look, you'll snap your neck in a minute, you. I bet you can't go further though, can you, sucker? <laughs> Who's the winner? So I've just walked in here and it is boiling up. It's real heated, but it smells of poop as well. It smells like someone's got a, a, about 20 poops in a slow cooker. But uh, this, this place here, in the background, see that thing over the rock? That, that's a shedded snake skin. So there must be. Oh, it says there's a piranha, a red-bellied piranha. Oh, aren't there them things that eat you? Okay, I think I've just found my favourites. I've found my favourites. Look, they've all come to say hello as well. Ready? The penguins! Hello, penguins! Do you know what, though? There's this massive pipe, and it's blowing real powerful. 
and they're all, they was all swimming towards it, and now look, it's blew them all to the other side. Oh, they're, they're not, they're doing lengths, like we do when we go on holiday, do you know, do you, you go on holiday, don't you, and you say, oh, I'm going to do a few lengths in the pool every morning just to start the day, and you never ever do. These bad, these have got determination, look. Look, they all go one way, and then they spin round, and they all go the other way, so they'll all spin. I don't, maybe it's not as organised as I thought, but... Oh, they're cute, aren't they? I love them. Fun fact, though, if you've never seen a penguin poo, it's, it's like, hilarious because... Well, mind you, I've, I've seen one penguin poo when I was at West Midland Safari Park, and it, like, did this thing, like, it wobbled and wobbled, and then it just bent its back and did an explosion, but it just fired for miles. But I don't know if that one had a gut problem or, or if it's all penguins that um, poo like that, but... Uh, yeah, if you want to, like, Google or YouTube penguins pooping, I guess you can find out. What the heck is this place? What the f***? Am I meant to be in here? I don't like this place. Look what I've just seen. Loads of dead things. I don't know if they've been, have they been neglected or is there something in here that eats them? This is the place of an owl. Oh, there's more over there. Maybe that's the, that must be the owl's food. Oh, they're only little. <laughs> I don't like this place. I don't know if I'm meant to be in this bit. I don't know if this is just for staff, but there's, a, there's probably owls in there. Whoa, look at that. Are they camouflage things or is that? Watch this. Watch this. Have they made the branches look like look like like squirrel things, or are they real and camouflaged? Look at that. Or is that just a fluke? What the hell? That's crazy. It was definitely worth coming. I've stumbled across orangutans. I can't believe it. I don't think I've ever seen him before. This guy down here. He was staring at me as if to say, brother, you look like me. You look exactly like me. Why are you out of the enclosure? From this angle, it looks like it's an animal with three heads. <laughs> no one around for him to play with though, which is pretty sad. But I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. I'll start getting sad and anxious. Do you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed that. So now that I've hatched, we're gonna leave the zoo and all its beautiful nature and head to our next attraction. I'll be back. I stumbled across a restaurant and just had to come in. My hands was literally in my pockets. I've got five layers on and there was ice cold and I just couldn't feel them. I couldn't bear any more walking in, in the cold. So we're halfway there to our next attraction. My pizza's just come. Look at the size of this. It's like a spaceship. I asked the woman if she could cut it for me and they all just laughed their heads off at me. And I was thinking, what are you laughing at? Are you seeing the size of it? It's like that big and it didn't come cut. So I was meant to just do it with knife on. I was like, can't you do the roller? The roller cutter. But she's in my good books because she's just brought me garlic oil and extra cheese to add onto the top. <laughs> I'm not sure how, if this just goes like all over it. I love garlic though, so I'll have loads. We'll have loads of that sprinkled on. 
Oh, look at it. It's all over the place. I love it. And then obviously we're going to use the trees that the, the extra trees they give you. None of that is good. None of that's going to waste. Get all of that on there. It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Beautiful. So behind me is Phoenix Des Lamin Res and it's an old gas plant. So if you look here, it's all the same colour as that ginormous gas plant that's all over there, this big ugly place. But it's been changed into an art place. Now I know what you're thinking, oh boring art, boring art. No, 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 no. It's like every single room is lit up with like neon lights and it just looks like every single room you go in is I can't really explain it without showing you so we're just gonna head in there yeah oh well, it looks close from the outside hopefully it isn't let's like, show this so no one knows what we're doing it's dark in here I don't know. Hello? I don't know if it's open. I don't know if it's open. I'll show you a picture on the wall quickly. I think I think there's white men in the next room, so I think it's getting right revamped. But that's the kind of stuff that's in the rooms, just in case we're not going to be allowed to go in. I've got a feeling it's it's closed. I'm going to just bob my head in anywhere. Probably get arrested for trespassing. Yeah, I don't think it's open. There's a man in there with a circular saw. I think it, it must be permanently closed. I did I did just check on the website and it said closed. The card machine thing's on there. I'm just gonna hang around a bit longer, see if anyone turns up. There's no one behind the desk. Oh, I'm good. I think it is closed, look. Because all them Things, bollards that should be outside are thinking, hey, why, why is like the, mo the most important thing and the most exciting thing have to be closed? Why, every time I come anywhere, are they working on it? Temporarily closed, ruin my trip. How come the, the door's open, but no one's like checking this area? I could be just robbing that Christmas tree over there or anything. If this is closed and we can't visit it, I'm gonna put some videos on this vlog of all the different rooms and I'll source the videos from somewhere else because it, it, it will make me really sad if we can't experience it first hand because it looks like it's just like so trippy and like a unique place to be in. But we'll we'll watch it together on the vlog in some other format because we're not keeping it out even though they've let me down. I can say I've trespassed in the uh, Phoenix Des Lumeres. Yeah. Just going in and out in and out of buildings in Germany where I bloody want. No one's stopping me. Unless a, a policeman pulls up, then I will happily get in and go to jail. <laughs> I've just done some research and get this. 
the Phoenix Des Lemures closed today to, until the 25th of January. Today. How unlucky is that? So if I'd have come yesterday, it would have been all right. I think I've let you down there. Sorry, everyone. And I've let myself down because I wanted to see it. I explained to you how the rooms are really, really glowy and bright and beautiful and I was excited and then I got let down. Well, I've been searching for an equivalent because I want that vibrant kind of vibe today. Just like this parrot here. And I have found a place called Glowing Rooms, which is a mini golf that looks like um, Phoenix Des Lemires. So just like it's like the same building but you can play golf in it so in the end i think i'm winning and we're about 50 minutes away everyone's looking at me so strange aren't they uh. hello it's my friends over there hi guys hello good to see you oh, anyone else want to chat no i think he was the miserable man wasn't he earlier uh Right, uh, I've run out of people. <laughs> There's a tree. Anyone want to see a tree? Right, I actually need to find my way there now. Hello. This Me. You? In, uh, England. Yeah. Talking to England. Ooh. You like? Yeah? <laughs> say, say hello. Don't know what that was about running quick hello good to see you look he's looking he, they all think i'm on tv i think do you know what the, oh god he, he is staring at me why do you what are you staring at <laughs> right back on to back on route i suppose When I got in here, the man said, my colleague will play with you so you're not playing on your own. I thought, I think they felt sorry for me. And then when I said, well, I'm recording it and it's for my YouTube, so as long as you're happy with that, he said, I think I pass. I thought I was a nerd, but then he passed me these glasses. How can I be a nerd? Let's have a look around this place with these glasses on. Whoa, it's really weird. I look good though, don't I? And it's real good here. When you record your scores, you do it on this phone and then take it back. If you get a holy ones all the way around, which I will, you get your money back. Oh, oh they took my they took my driver's license off me as well as, as a deposit in case I do anything wrong with this. Eh? That's not worth my, my driver's license. Fair shot. Let's go, golfers. I'm going to put you where the the hole is so you'll when i take my shot at the beginning you won't be able to see me you'll just see my ball roll around and go in In. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a rule. I've got to get a hole in one, and I? I've got to get at least one. Right, come on. Do you like soccer? Yeah, yeah, I play yes. football. I so, play football. So, you know, in uh, Germany, it's a Bundesliga? Yeah, yeah. I play a Bundesliga in Minigolf. Really? Yeah. So, you're really good? Uh, actually, I'm a professional, yes. Yes, queen! Yes, queen! Really? Yes. So do you get holding ones all the way around here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. My overall record is 19. 19? Yes, but not with this ball you get from us, with 18 different balls. Oh, really? Yes, then I play 19. So how do you get 19 holding ones on an 18? Trading. What, so you get an extra one? What? 
If you, how do you get 18, 19 hole in ones on an 18 no, no, no. hole? What? Yes, I play 19 strokes. Oh, sorry. So on one of them you shot two. Yes. I, I'm with you. If you like to, I'll show you some tricks. Yeah, show me some tricks. <laughs> all right, Jay Cat, right? Here he is. Mr. Know It All. Go on, you best get it in, you bugger. You best get it in. Otherwise, you'll hear about it. Good? Yeah, go on, Jay. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I believe you. Champion. Okay. Are we ready? So what we're gonna do... Yeah, I'm on the same one as you. Oh yeah, you can't see the thing. Here we go. Pretty, pretty good player. <laughs> Close to the ball on the ground. Yeah. And then don't do it with your, um, with your ankles. Say what? The, uh, wrist. Wrist, yes, with your wrist. You play with your complete body. Okay. From your hips. Go on, Jay Cat, right? I hope I get it. Me too, Jay. <laughs> Ooh, just off the lip. So Peter says if you hit the ball here with me medium speed, medium then pass. it will go in that hole. So we're going to try it out with Peter. It is sometimes pretty hard. Really hard. Peter, Peter's boss, who owns this place, has designed this bottom floor um, because he, tra he travels a lot, basically. So Peter's boss likes to travel, and on this floor, he has seen everything in real life. So when he's been traveling, he has witnessed, for example, this kitchen, and he's taken a photo of it and designed it on his wall here. This kitchen, um, this, this place, this place is from a wall in New York that he took a photo of. Um, this is a Japanese vending machine, apparently. So basically everything on here, if you travel to these places, you can see them firsthand. Interest, interesting fact, eh, Peter? Even the duck. Even the duck was on the bin. Even the fucking duck with the lightning sign <laughs> is real. So there, that duck was on the bin. And what, what's, what country is this? Uh, I guess Thailand, Indonesia, something like yeah. that. Asian place. So you, if, you go, if you go to that end, of the country, that end of the world, you can see the uh, rainbow duck, we can call it, can't we? I mean, I know we're taking the mick out of Peter a bit, saying he was a know-it-all, but to be fair to him, he does know his mini golf, or he knows his course anyway. He works here, he doesn't own, he doesn't own it. But he knows on which hole where to hit the ball and it just rolls in. And he has been showing me, he's been showing me how you do it and where you hit it. And I'm picking it up pretty quick. Um, so my court st scorecard at the end when I show you will probably be a bit more attractive than it would have been if Peter didn't turn up. But yeah, what a nice addition to the vlog. Big up Pete. See you later, Peter. Have a good life. <laughs> oh, what a nice man he was. He was a nice man. See, that's what we're like, making friends. Peter did just tell me that the hotel that I'm staying at is, um, the hotel I'm staying at is the dangerous part of Dortmund and that football hooligans even say, don't go to that them ends. So I don't know why I'm just patrolling him with my backpack, but larger than life. Back in the hotel room. Uh, sorry, sorry, Alcatraz. I forgot to tell you earlier on that I, I shot 38 shots in 18 holes so that wasn't bad and I wasn't concentrating because me and Peter was in deep convo to be fair mini golf is one of my few talents and if there is anyone watching this who wants to challenge me to a game I will wipe the floor of anyone because I am seriously good okay I have just booked my taxi for tomorrow morning because I didn't want to like mess up public transport because the we've coming away 
I love coming away, but I love getting back home and it would break my heart if I missed my flight in any way, so I'm, I'm not risking it. So I booked a taxi, so everyone do this and cross your toes. I'll give you a few seconds. Thank you, that is just so to make sure it does show up. I got an email from Ryanair saying, allow more, allow for more time. Um, so my flight's at half nine and I've booked the taxi for half five just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, and it's only half an hour away but it, they said it'll allow for more time because do you know all that beeping that we saw yesterday and all them big lorries and everything apparently there's a giant protest going on and the barricading roads and stuff i've not seen anything of it today but knowing my luck as soon as i get in this taxi tomorrow if it turns up all them lorries will be packed across the thing and they'll have gone from being my ah, ah, mates to my enemies and I'll have to change that ah, ah, for the <laughs> Anyway, because I'm getting picked up so early, I've decided I'm going to try and get to sleep really early. So I'm going to go out for a McDonald's, grab it, bring it back here, eat it in bed, and then try and get some sleep. So the minute I walk through this door here, I won't be back until the morning. Raz and Shan, it's 5am and it's shower time. I didn't sleep too well, to be honest with you. I was doing that thing, do you know, where you wake, because you know you've got to be up early and you're scared of sleeping in. You wake up every hour and you're like, <gasps> jump out of bed and dive to your phone to make sure you haven't slept in. It was a bit of like that. We've got to pray that this taxi turns up at half five. Oh, I've, I've got to be so sad if it done. We have arrived back at Dortmund Airport, which means another letter. Letter D is complete. Four letters down, 22 to go. But please do stick around because in the next segment, I will break down the costs from this trip. I've got a sneaky feeling that this will be our cheapest one yet. And I will also let you know what I thought about Dortmund in Germany. So I'm gonna whip this one out really, really fast because it is heaving in here. I always manage to find a scrap piece of paper that I write down my cost breakdowns on. And I pulled this one out of my pocket that I've traveled with the full weekend without even realizing. And it's a, got a picture of Indy on that my granddad drew while I was out and about. So I'm glad that I'm glad that I found that on the final day when I'm heading back home rather than the first day when I got here because I'd have been crying the full trip. But we have our cost break now. So our flights were £56.58. The insurance was £9.70. Accommodation was £57.90. Airport parking was £52.43 and all spends including diesel for the trip back and forth to London and like transfers whilst in Dortmund for example the taxi I got to this airport today was €40 Euro. the full spending money was £210 and I've not give you my total but this is the cheapest one that we have done to date. We are in the 300s. The grand total is £386.61. Now I think that's gonna take some beating, but you get what you you get what you pay for, I guess. I don't if if you are thinking of coming to Germany, although I have had fun here. I would literally have fun anywhere that I go because that's the type of person I am. I always find positives in everything. But if you are thinking of coming to Germany, I maybe would think of heading somewhere else other than Dortmund as there isn't a great deal to, to get on with. I feel like one day here was more than enough. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've not already pressed the subscribe button, please do press the subscribe button. And there's one thing that is left 
Please come back for more. There's other letters to explore.